Victor, you were part of some really some talented teams at, at Oregon. But what, what what can you say about the balance on this team? I mean, it looks like you guys could go, you know, eight, nine, ten deep and, and not really have any drop off, especially on the perimeter. Yeah, no, uh, we're a close group. Um, we're brothers. We love each other. Um, uh, this is probably the closest. This is the team that I've been the closest with, um, with every guy um, down the line from the starters to the guys all at the end of the bench. Um, you know, we love each other. We're brothers, and um, you know, when when, uh, when a team is so close, special things can happen. Chloe. Um. Uh. Yeah, Victor. Could you just talk about the depth that this team has? I mean, you know, it's 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 almost like it, you're never seeing the same five guys on the court. It's always it's always different people getting able to play. And just as a returning player, how has this? How do you find this important to your all's growth as a team? That's very important. Um, when you know if you make a mistake or um, you're not having a good game, you know your teammate has your back. Um, you know, I, I, I know I can always count on my guys. I can count on my brothers uh, to have my back. And um, uh, that's, that's big for us. It's really big. Mike Wilson, then Troy. Yeah, VJ, when you get, get a game like this from Olivier, how much does that, I mean, raise even further this team's potential throughout the rest of the season? It's big. Um, it's inevitable. I knew it would happen. Um, he worked so hard. Um, I knew eventually, you know, things would start going from him. Um, you know, when he's playing well um, and, and that depth, you know, really helps us and we can get things going. And I, I know we're going to be a good team because of it. VJ, Rick talked a lot about feeling like Keon and Jaden were not maybe unprepared for today's game. As a, Do you remember as a freshman what it was like kind of having to get ready for games like this um, and, and kind of what's your advice to them moving forward? Uh, you know, as, as a freshman, you're always going to have up and downs. Um, that's, that's just how it works. You know, some games you'll be doing well and, um, you know, some games, you know, everything is new. Um, everything is new for them. Um, but they're talented. They're good kids. They work hard. Um, good things will happen. So, you know, like I told them after the game, just keep your head up, keep doing what you're doing and good things will come. Nicholas Hill and David Pascal. I'm Victor. So, you know, you guys were not really letting them get a lot of open threes, but that, you know, that the second half there for a while, they were kind of making some really tough shots. Just, how do you like keep motivated you know, from series to series when you're doing everything you can defensively to contest shots, but they're making some really uh, difficult looks? Uh, Coach, Coach Schwartz says, you know, when guys hit tough, we'll live. When guys hit tough shots, Coach always says we'll live. We'll live with those. Um, you know, our, our job is, is, is to make them hit tough shots. Um, if, if we can do that the whole game and they're just hitting tough shots, you know, kudos to them. But, um, you know, forcing tough shots, forcing tough twos, that's what we want. Victor, a couple of quick ones for me. Uh, fourth game in eight or nine days. Did this feel like a tired team? Were you, were y'all a little more tired today than the past few games? Do you think? Um, yeah, our, our legs are a little heavy. Um, you know, having a lot of practices and um, you know squeezing these games in, but we're prepared for it and we work really hard. So um, you know, when the challenge comes, we're ready to take it. And wanted to ask just about these next few days. Obviously, this was a season that got the delayed start because of COVID. How important is it? I know it's going to be Christmas in Knoxville, but how important is it for y'all to kind of lay low? And I know there was already a South Carolina situation where they've had to cancel next week or postpone. How important are these next few days on the COVID front? Uh, very. Um, it's, it's important that we take care of our bodies, take care of our minds. Um, you know, it'd be good to to see our family, but you know, but stay safe uh, most of all. But um, these days are very important for us, very important. Wes? Uh, VJ, you know, what, what went through your mind when you see Josiah kind of walk to the bench there late in the game and he, he's got a non-contact little left knee injury? Was there some concern there from you? Uh, and then how, how would you describe Josiah's role on this team? Uh, I didn't see that happen. Um, I just kind of saw him walking out. But he's a tough kid. I know he'll bounce back. He's fine. Um, but like I said, he's a tough kid. He works really hard. Um, his impact is needed. Um, you know, he's, he's one of our best offensive rebounds. Um, we know he's going to do the dirty work for us. We know he can hit shots. Um, you know, he, he's vital to this team's success. How important are those guys who kind of do a little bit of everything? It seems like he does, like you look at his stat line today, and it's, you know, a, a lot of numbers up there. We need it. I mean, we need it. We got a lot of guys who can score. Um, we got a lot of guys who can put the ball in the basket, but we need other guys to do other things, rebound. Um, we need guys to play defense, uh, need guys to get deflections, and we got a lot of guys that can do that. And, um, you know, we're a full team, and we're going to be a problem for people. Ben McKee. 
kind of a similar question to, to Wes. Josiah Doe for a loose ball that was going out of bounds. and I, I think he took off from about the free throw line. Just how much did that energize the team? Seemed like it uh, really sparked you all. So much, uh, so much. When, when, when guys lay out um, and, and, and show our team that, you know, we're willing to do that, we're willing to get on the floor, um, willing to do the dirty work, it brings the energy. And you can feel it through the whole bench. And um, when guys are doing that, uh, you know, we're going to be successful. Thank you, VJ.